Welcome to my channel. You are listening to and watching the Nasty Nail Tech here on YouTube. I thank you for joining me on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe, like, um, comment, and share. I'm just putting some lotion on my hands. Okay, so today I am doing a polish. Um, I'm sorry, I'm reviewing some polish and I am going to swatch some polish. So I ordered these reflective gel polishes from AliExpress. And of course it took a while for them to get to me. I already know the deal with that, right? Um, they did not send all the colors I requested. They sent me the amount that I requested, which was like nine bottles. Um, I feel like I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I must have set one to the side, but I had another one someplace. And I felt like one of them, they sent me two of the same color. And then some of the colors that I chose, I did not receive. And one was broken. They basically just put them inside of a plastic FedEx bag and sent them to me. No bubble wrap, no nothing. So this is my first experience with like having something be damaged from AliExpress. I was leery on ordering polish because of that reason. And it takes so long to get to you. And then even if they do replace it or whatever, that's going to take forever. So you know what it is. But I've been seeing this polish. Um, I guess you pronounce it Hamby, H-A-M-B-I. And it's a reflective gel polish. So my bottles are all beat up, even though I cleaned them off. Um, I still have some glitter on there. These are all reflective gel polishes and one, the hand, the bottle, the open to the bottle, the brush was just broken off and it was a dark gray sort of reflective color and it spilled over everything inside the bag. So they packaged just really poorly. And I don't know if you guys have had this experience that, you know, when it says where it's shipping from is usually China or Russia or something like that, mostly China. But sometimes it'll be a product and it gives you the option or the only place it's coming from is the United States, which is where. So if it's coming from the United States and I'm in the United States, why it still takes so long to get to you? I don't know why. But anywho, so I finally have my reflective gel polishes and i am going to swatch and see what's going on let me get my lamp ready so that i can cure i will say if you guys have used this brand of polish let me know i ordered it off of aliexpress from the same buyer underneath the same um, page but they come in two different bottles and like I said this says Hamby H A M B I gel reflective gel polish and then this one says Venom A V I N I M A so they came in two different bottles but it was the same page and everything so we will see so we are going to swatch some colors. I have my stiletto swatch sticks here. I have a new background mat. I'm gonna see if I like this. I got this from AliExpress as well. I thought it was adorable. I will say a lot of these pieces are just like coming off. I guess that's the way they make it. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just here. So we're gonna start with zero one. And I'm gonna shake it up because when I took a look at these I noticed that some of them were extremely thick and I think what has happened is that they sent me some really old polishes which sucks so this is zero one like you see how thick that is and I've you know did the shake and everything but so this is like a dark reflective gel color I see all different sorts of color glitter in there it's very beautiful the colors themselves are beautiful but like I said some of them are super thick and I think that they just sent me some old bottles that they had sitting forever because I've rolled them I've shook them and I can't get them to loosen up so 
if you were putting this on a real client or yourself you would probably want to go with two coats because it's a little I can see through it a little I'm trying to like really coat it on there but it's still a beautiful color it's like a smoky gray color and you can see all the different colors of glitter it's like really fine glitter embedded in there so that was zero one all right zero two it's my next one and I'm trying to loosen these all up another pretty color see that see I think they just gave me some really old polish because look at that that is way too thick and I've rolled it and rolled it and rolled it and back in the day we had polish thinner do they still make that for gel polishes we had it for regular polish I don't know if they make it for gel polish but yeah it's a shame because the colors are really pretty and it could be a really good polish but I feel like they sent me some polishes they had sitting in the warehouse from 10 years ago because they're just so thick and clumpy some of them but look at the color that color is very pretty it's like a reddish orange color and the reflective polishes the way that they kind of they don't really describe them online you know how AliExpress is but the way that they advertise it's like it has two or three different looks like if it's in the sunlight it looks one way I guess under UV light of course it looks another way the regular light it looks a different way so just depending on the light how the color is going to reflect and what it's going to look like it could be different not like totally change the color but just different variations of the color that is beautiful if only it wasn't all thick and clumpy in the bottle that's so pretty so I'm going to go ahead and cure those. And we're going to go to zero 03. And I'm going to do a top coat to find a top coat. So zero 03 is a purple color. You know, I had to get some purple. It's a purple reflective color. This one is not nearly as thick or clumpy as the other two that I just used. I actually have a color similar to, similar to this. So again, it may need two coats, but for time and other reasons. Not necessarily going to coats, and this is zero three. Zero Interesting. Let's try that again. Alrighty. And then we have four. And don't ask me why, but I love a square polish bottle. Just that my bottles are all stained and like I had to scrub them down see how thick that is like I really think they just gave me some old polish that was sitting around and it's not even worth my time energy to try and get it replaced I had to literally take these bottles and scrub them with soapy water because the glitter was just stuck to everything in the polish and then I'd go over it with like alcohol to get some more off why you would just take bottles of polish and stick it into a FedEx plastic bag with nothing to protect it not a box or a bubble wrap or anything like I don't know why you would ever do that 
so all the colors so far are beautiful it's just the quality of this polish I think I won't truly know because most of them I think are outdated they just gave me some really old polish like this could be the greatest brand ever but because they gave me something that was probably like sitting in the warehouse forever and they not pretty that has a little bit more of the silver in it Try to make sure I get my light right very pretty let's see okay zero three which did I not just do zero three yeah this must be the one I have two of I think that's the same color is that the same color yeah, they both say three, but it was like two different bottles. Three. Yeah, I think those are the same color. See, that's the stuff that AliExpress can do to like tick you off. Like, yeah, that's the same color. I only order one of those colors. But luckily, it's my favorite color, so oh well. It is what it is. Alrighty. And let's see. Now we're going to go to 909. This is so pretty. This color right here. It's like a burnt orange reflective gel. You see the fine pieces of glitter in there. It's so pretty. I really like this color. The consistency of this one is a lot better, but it's, yeah, still a little thick, but it's not as bad as those first few. That's pretty. And that is zero nine. <laughs> and then, we have eight or B. S08. This is so pretty. I like this one too. And again, it's very thick and sticky. But look at that color. That color is beautiful. I don't know my other favorite color is blue. So I love the blues and the purples. Very thick, very chunky. I think it's just old. And, you know go in there and leave my review I might open a dispute but if I have to do anything extra to get it done I'm not doing it I'm not sending anything back if they want to credit me that'll work but I'm just and I might do what I normally do which is just try a different seller if I can find the same brand like I know it's inexpensive and all of that but come on now AliExpress and your sellers that color is so pretty if only it wasn't so thick and chunky like heck I don't even know how much I have in the bottle because it's so thick and but that color is just beautiful look at that oh, I love that color One more zero seven, and we're gonna top coat and call it a day. And this is another blue, very pretty. This one has a good consistency, so maybe it's not as old as the other ones, but yeah. Now, if I'm wrong and this reflective polish, this brand is just like this, hey, let me know. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like this turquoise blue with this silvery glitter in it and it is just beautiful and that's the sad thing all the colors are beautiful 
but some of them are just hard to work with because they just seem like they're very old. And I've already checked. There's reflective polishes on Amazon, but not this brand. So I may try some other brands from Amazon and see what happens. I love that color. That is so pretty. Yeah, this is thick. Not as bad as, you know, the other ones, but it is thick. I like one little spot that won't cover. That is so pretty. Look at that. All right, we are going to cure those. And we're going to top coat these. Let me know if you've tried this brand of reflective gel polish. Let me know your favorite brand of reflective gel polish in the comments. Let me know what brand I should try. The colors are beautiful. Just the quality is just sucky because polishes are thick like that it's hard to work with it and let me know if there's polish thinner for gel polish maybe that'll work if there is but look at that color I'm about out of this top coat I'm just using a savvy land top coat and this one, for some reason, it just did not want to cure. It ran over the side. And I gotta fix that. Let me know your thoughts. If you want the link to where I bought them, I can give it to you, but I wouldn't recommend that buyer. At least try it with another buyer. Because like I said, I have a feeling this is probably a good polish, but this particular buyer just sent me some old whatever that was in their warehouse from 10 years ago. So if I had a fresh bottle, I think it'd be on point. Okay, those are cured. Look how the colors just match my mat. Everything blends in. Because there's multiple colors here. Alright, we're going to cure those and top coat these. And I'm just about out of top coat. This color is so pretty. I don't have anything like it. Just all the little silvery colors in there. That's so pretty. Ah, love it. Love the colors. Again, the brand is Hamby. That's what it says. H-A-M-B-I. And then the other one, which was under the same seller, under the same post and everything, was Vinamay. V-I-N-I-M-A. 
and they're considered reflective gel polishes. The colors are beautiful. I think I got a bad batch. I may try to do a dispute, but if I gotta go through too many changes to do it, I'm just gonna call it a day because it's not worth my time and energy to like jump through a bunch of hoops to try to get some a refund or another shipment and personally i don't want another shipment from this company you know but i feel like if you send me this you'll send me anything those colors just beautiful 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 all right these three are finished oh, i'm about to seal those together so there's all of them Colors are gorgeous. Just wish I would have had some fresher, newer bottles to work with. I'm trying to get them all to fan out. And they don't want to. Really. Like, really. I think the colors are gorgeous. Hopefully you can see the reflection. Like I said, it's supposed to look different now that they're cured. Like if I go out in the sunlight. It's the same color, but it's supposed to give you, a, you know, the, reflect the colors differently is my understanding of them. So pretty. The colors are gorgeous. They just gave me an old product. That's what I think happened. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Leave me comments below. Let me know if you've tried this brand. If you have another reflective brand that you enjoy using. Um, let me know. Alright. Thank you for watching. I'm trying to get in the camera. There we go. And God bless.